today I have a Happy Mail package. Isn't this beautiful? Isn't this beautiful? I just love it. I can see flowers in there and blue metallic. Oh my goodness, this is so pretty. I know who this is from and I have an idea what it is, but I'm not real sure. This is a Happy Mail from Mary Ann McMillan. Mary Ann messaged me and asked me if she could send me a happy mail. So I said yes. <laughs> Sometimes I'm just speechless. Sometimes I don't know what to say. The last few weeks I have received so much happy mail. And it's, it's left me almost nonverbal. <laughs> I want to say thank you even before I open this up. I know I shouldn't, but I feel guilty taking it. But on the other hand, let's open this up and see what's inside. So I'm just going to, it's taped up here right on this side. I think I can just kind of pull it this way. Ooh. Ooh, this is so neat. And I can even save this and put it on a journal page. Yes. We'll put that right up here. And let's go ahead and I think this is one of those Sealy envelopes. Can I get it open? If I pull at it, I think so. Let's see what's in here. Try just pull it out. Oh my! Oh my! Look how she wrapped it up. Oh my! This is so neat. This this is just like Christmas. Thank you so much. Even before I get it opened, Mary Ann. So let's open it here, carefully, carefully, because this will all go in, this will go in our journal pages, you know that. Nothing in our world goes to waste for us mixed media artists. It just does not happen. Look at this. She sent me paper make pens, ink joy and G2 Pilot pens, all these colors. And look, there is a brown one. Oh my goodness, my goodness. Hold on a minute, I'm gonna run and get, I've, I've just got to test this out right here before we go any further. Okay. I ran to get my mixed media vellum surface paper. Let's find a blank page, if possible in here. I have been Pretty much using this, pretty much have used it up. Let's see what's on here. I think, oh, here we go. Let's find, this is my Strathmore mixed media paper. It's got a vellum surface, and I've been doing my test on a paper that is a vellum surface. and. I am going to go right into these G2 pins. These are by Pilot. Now, Marianne did a video on these, and Marianne, I'd, <laughs> you sent me both packages. You gave me a choice, and I couldn't decide, so I said, you decide for me. So what did she do? She sent me both. Marianne, oh my goodness, that's all I have to say. Thank you so much. I'm not going to need pins for some time now, but I will be using these. I can't, let's see if I can get this open. What, how do I open this? Here. There. Oh, oh, look. I love how these, I love how these fit in here. Okay, let's try this. Let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. 
I generally do a circle. Shall I come in a little bit closer here? So you can see. There. When I do my test, I do a circle. And then I do sort of like a shadow circle. And I, oh, I love how the ink flows out of this. I can generally tell what's going to happen by how the ink flows out of the pen when I'm when I'm sketching. And if it's very if it's very sketchy, then I know that I'm going to have a hard time with it. Let's let's get some water on this. Oh, look. I think my brush is dirty. Let's let's clean my brush off. I pulled the black one. I pulled the black one instead of the brown one. Let's let's go back here. I pulled the black. The black one works. Hey all, the black one works. <laughs> here, let's pull this one. I got to look at these colors again. We got blue and green and light blue and orange. And brown and red and this looks like a dark green a teal blue a pinkish purple here this looks like a, a black a dark blue this is either a black or a dark brown I'd have to test it this one it's like a gray a red a green a purple this is black a dark blue and I'm not sure what that color is, but we'll see. Let's test this. I'm so I'm so wanting to test the brown. Make a circle and another circle and just shade her in there. Oh man, I am so excited. And then I just have a little cup of water here that I'm dipping my brush in because I didn't bother to fill my water brush and look at this oh look at that oh yay see I could I could see this out on my urban sketching it almost blends this part out doesn't it I mean you could probably work with it enough to blend it out and you could blend it into the black up here if you wanted. Look at that. Let's try. Now, now I'm now I'm going, let's try another one. Let's try another one. Oh wow. Let's try let's try this dark green one. Let's put it right here, right up in here. Oh, Mary Ann, thank you so much for these. Oh, I just, oh, wow. I, I, I can see using these for urban sketching. I really, really can. Maybe in combination with my watercolor, but, boy, you don't need much watercolor. Look how that blend, look at that. Oh, look at, and see, you can blend it in with these even. See, look at this area in here, which is a blend between the green and the sepia. And it becomes even a darker brown in there. Wow. I'm just kind of wiping off my brush here. Oh, Mary Ann. Oh, I'm in love with these already. I am curious, though, why... And we know this is black, so what is this one? There really isn't a, a marking on it. Let's see what it is. Because did I get... See, there seems to be a black, a black, a black, a black, and a black. So is, are there five blacks? One, two, three, four, five. Let's try it up here. Keep knocking my water off of the... Look at this. Yeah, see, that's got some gray-blue gray tones to it. Oh, 
then let's go into the green here with it. In fact, let's grab this green again. So it, was it this one I used? This is a gray again. This is another gray. This is a lighter gray. And this green. We'll draw that right in between. No, let's draw it. Let's draw it here and here. And I want to color this in. Because I want to blend between these. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Look at this. Look at this. Look at how they blend. Now I've got to try this one. <laughs> Look. Oh, these are wonderful, Mary Ann. These are just wonderful. Now, these are, I should document them. I'm not going to try all the colors here, but I will eventually. These are Pilot G2 pens. Pilot G2. And I'm going to put they're gel they're gel pens oh wow and they've got a point oh seven a point seven a point seven writing tip to them wow i if i've seen these i'm not sure where she got them but if I've seen them on the market, I've, I've walked right by them, <laughs> thinking that and now I'm going to have to keep my eyes open. Okay. Oh, wow. I am so excited to get these. <gasps> oh, my goodness. Mary Ann, you are so generous. Let's try the Paper Mate. They're Ink Joy. And let's see, where do I open these at? These are medium. You get a medium point and a fine point. And these are the mediums. Well, I guess I'm just going to have to tear it open here. I was expecting you to send me an opened package. She asked me which one I wanted, and I, she was testing it. Oh, look at this. Mark making. Very cool. I love the packaging. Okay, let's test. Well, I have this one in my hand. Look at this pen. Look at it. Isn't that an interesting pen? And I think Marianne said that they had the little wax tip on them. These are Papermate Inkjoy pens. Different colors. This is the green. Oh, I can tell. I can I can tell the minute I put that point on the paper how that ink flows out of the pen onto the how the ink flows out of the pen onto the paper. I can tell right away that it's going to be fun to work with. Look how easy that flows on there. Now I'm just going to take and look at that. Look at that beautiful green color. And this for sure will blend. Let's, let's try, let's, oh, and it's got a brown one too. <gasps> it's got a brown one, Mary 
got a brown one, yay. Let's put it here and here. Look at that. Let's look how that ink flows out of there. I mean, I hardly have to work at it at all. I mean, just okay. Look at that. Oh my goodness, that's got a red tone to it. Let's bring it in here. Look at the shades you can get. Look at the shading in here. Oh, I can see using all of these for urban sketching. I really can. And you know, I haven't been urban sketching yet. I'm going to go. I just, I <laughs> truthfully haven't been out there yet. So let's try, let's try, let's try the purple. Let's try the purple. Oh, I could sit here and do these all night. <laughs> this is the purple. And before we blend it out, let's try, what shall we try with the purple? Purple, purple and, ah, I think purple and orange will give us more of a brown color. Uh, I'm not sure about this, but I'm going to try this lighter green. I'll have all these little wax tips off of here in no time. Let's try the lighter green. Wow, that is a lighter green. Just very easy flowing out of the pen. Make sure my water brush is clean. Here's the purple. Oh, look at that beautiful color. Just look at that beautiful color get my brush cleaned off down here look you can see you can even get that tonal down there I'm, I'm just wiping off my brush now let's get the green the green is a little bit more of a soft color but it certainly does it certainly does flow out doesn't it and then here I'm blending them in between oh See, I could see, very much seen using these for urban sketching. Do my sketch and then come back in with my water brush and do some blending. Oh my goodness. These are paper mate. <laughs> Got the water running down there. Paper mate ink joy. Mary Ann. I certainly, I, I, I just, I guess the only thing to say is thank you so much. I'm going to come out here a little bit more so you can see my table. Thank you so much for these pens. I will be sketching very happily once I get them open. <laughs> I've got to learn how to open this package. I will be a very happy camper sketching for a very long time. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, this is just what I love to see. Exactly what I love to see. Now, I'm going to have to, I think I'm going to put these in with my R2 pins though. Now, I think I saw something else in here. <laughs> Marianne, 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 what did you do? Look at this. <gasps> okay, it's empty. This, this will most certainly get used. Absolutely. You will see me using this. This is just beautiful. I love the texture of it. I love how the bubble wrap comes through there. Very neat. Now let's see what she did here. Little heart washi tape. Can I get that off without... Too much bother. Yes, I can. Marianne, this is just so sweet. This must have... I cringe when I think what you spent on this. <laughs> and I know I shouldn't, but I do. 
I'm going to snip it here, just easier. Maybe I can tear this. What did she send here? What did you do? Oh, look. Look what she did. Oh, Mary Ann. This is even more fun than pins. <laughs> no, it's not more, it's not even more. It's, it's, well, yeah, this is even more than the, look what she did. I, I don't know if you can see the sparkle in there. Maybe with the light, I, but there is, can I capture, there, there's a little in there. These are glittery. <gasps> oh, these are so neat. Oh, look. Oh my goodness. Oh my, 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 my. <laughs> oh, I'm already doing a background page here. And look what else she sent here. Let's. I love the painty papers. You know, I love painty papers. I do love these. Look at these. This has such a texture to it. Oh my goodness. Love. This feels like a dryer sheet. Maybe something just to keep them separate. Gold. Gold. <laughs> she sent me gold. She knows. Ah, oh, look, more gold. <gasps> Marianne. You know I love gold. <gasps> more gold. <laughs> gold. This, this has to be a journal page because there's no way that... There's no way that I can... Is there more than one sheet here? No, there's just one sheet. There's no way that I could just collage one side down. This has to go be a journal sheet like this, a journal page like this. <gasps> beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, love, 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 love. Look at these. Painty papers. She knows I'm in love with painty papers. Look. Oh, my... Oh my, look. I know you can see the sparkle and shine in here. Oh, Marianne, thank you so much. Look at that. Gorgeous, gorgeous gold. And flowers. Did you make these? These are so cool. Oh, flower embellishments. And what paper dolls? Mary Ann, Mary Ann, Mary Ann sent me Tim Holtz paper dolls. <gasps> a whole, a whole town of them. Look at all these, Mary Ann. These are just wonderful. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Oh. I just love these. I cannot find these in my area. I suppose you have to order them online. But I can't find them in my stores. And you know what I do like about these? Is they are, they are blank on the back. And so you can collage them with no guilt. <laughs> Look at, looky, looky, looky. Oh, Mary Ann, thank you so much. And I love this one. I remember this one from the Found Relatives pack. Patriotic. Oh, my. And look at this little. Oh, thank you, Mary Ann. You have just made me happy. Happy, happy, happy. And there's more here. We're not done yet. Oh, looky. <laughs> there's more. Look at this. Ah, oh, Mary Ann. What do we have here? What is this? Scissors. Scissors. It's a stencil. This is a scissor stencil? It is. It's this one. Who made this? Finnabar. Oh, Mary Ann. Mary Ann, Mary Ann, you... 
you didn't. And what she's got some, she's got some metal embellishments here. Oh, and the, and they've got they're taped here. I'm not going to take them apart. I'm looking for the. I've got to get into this package. Marianne, you, you have just, you have just made me a happy, a happy camper. This alone, this alone just captures my heart. Look at this stencil. Oh, wow. Look at this. I've got to get it on a solid background. I am undeserving, humbled, thrilled, overjoyed. There's just no words. I guess, well, there are two words, and it is thank you. I, I don't deserve, I don't deserve this kindness. You could have sent me. You could have sent me these gold pages, and I would have been thrilled. But you didn't send me everything else here. Oh, wow. I will be playing with these for a very, very, very long time. I'm trying to... Uh, Get this out so everything shows. I, it's impossible. It fills up my desk. Pins and paper dolls and painted paper and a scissor stencil. What a happy mail package. <laughs> Thank you so much. I, I'm just going to have to say... I'm going to have to close. Thank you so much, Marianne. Oh, before I close, though, I want to remind everybody that Marianne does have a YouTube channel. And it, there's a link to her channel in the description box below. She is a very, a very loved person within the YouTube artist community. She has a lot of really neat friends. She does wonderful work. She goes by Nana number three, and believe me, she she's the perfect Nana number three to everyone, and this just proves it. The, the generosity of this just totally floors me, totally floors me. And the only words to say are, thank you so much, Marianne. Thank you so very much. <laughs> Playing with my paper dolls. I will see you on the next page.